Good morning everyone and thank you for joining me. Today we're going to be doing some counting and adding numbers together to find the total. Now I heard that you were doing some counting last week with Miss Stefanik, is that right? Excellent. You were counting some pine cones and some stones. Now, as you can see, I am not at school at the moment, so I had to have a little think and look around my house to see if I could find some things to count with. And I did. I decided today I'm going to be counting with some pigs and my favourite food, pasta. I wonder if you can find some things lying around your house that you can use to count with. Now, I'm going to need your help. I want to see if we can count four pegs from the bowl. Are you ready to help me? Well done. Let's count. One, two, three, four. Fantastic. And let's count them back into the bowl again. One, two, three, four. I think that was a little bit easy for you. Shall we try counting seven pegs? Let's see if we can count seven pegs from the ball. Help me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Fantastic. This time, when we count them back into the ball, I am going to keep quiet and I would like you to say the numbers nice and clearly. Are you ready? Fantastic counting. Now, let's see if we can make it even harder. Can you help me to count out 12 pieces of pasta? That's a very big number. I know that you can do this. So count out with me. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12. Wonderful. Now, can you count them back into the ball? I'm going to keep quiet again. Wow, I think you're ready for the challenge of counting 19 pieces of pasta. 19. Are you ready to help me? I'm going to keep quiet this time and I would like you to count out 19 pieces of pasta. Are you ready? Wow, did you manage to count 19 pieces of pasta? Luckily, I had enough. Shall we count them back into the bowl together? Well done. Let's begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 
14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. That was wonderful, fantastic counting. Okay, now our next challenge. We're going to see if we can count two numbers and add them together to find the total. Now, Miss Stepnick had her lovely wooden rings at school, but I don't have those. So today, I'm going to be counting my objects onto a plate. I have two plates here in front of me. The first number of objects I would like to count is three. Let's count three pegs. Are you ready to help me? One, two, three. Well done. And the next number we're going to count is number four. So we're going to count four pegs onto the next plate. Let's begin. One, two, three, four. Well done. So we have three add four. And we want to see what the total is. So let's put them all together so that we can count them. Are you ready? Put these on the table here and these ones on the table here. And I'm going to push them together so that I can count them. Are you ready to help me? Let's begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well done. So three add four is seven. I bet you managed to figure that out before I told you, didn't you? Okay, let's have a challenge and try another number. This time, we are going to see if we can add six and two. So first of all, we have to put six, six objects onto this plate. Are you ready to help me? I think we'll use the pasta this time. Six. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Fantastic. And we want to add on two more pieces of pasta. So let's count two onto this plate. Are you ready? One, two. Fantastic. Now this time, instead of pushing them all together, let's see if we can keep the biggest number, number six, in our head. So we're not going to count this pasta because we already know that there are six pieces of pasta on this plate. So keep the number six in your head. Are you ready? And we're going to count on the other two pieces of pasta to find out what the total is. So six is in our head. Help me count on the two more. Six, seven, eight. Fantastic. So six add two equals eight. Well done. I think you're very good at adding things together. Maybe you could challenge yourself and try writing a number sentence. Excellent, okay, let's try the next one. This time we are going to use nine pegs on here in this plate. Add four pegs on this plate. And again, we'll try and keep it in our head. Let's count out the nine pegs to begin with, just to make sure that we know which number it is. Are you ready to help me? Well done. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Well done. And do you remember how many we need for this plate? That's right. Four. Let's count out four pegs on this plate. Help me. One, two, three, four. Now we want to find out what nine 
add 4 is going to add up to. Now we already know that we have 9 pegs on this plate, so do we have to count them again? No, that's right, we're going to keep it in our head. So are you ready to help me count? 9 is already in your head and we're going to count on, are you ready? 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Well done! So 9 add 4 equals 13. Fantastic counting. I'm sure that you could do this on your own. You don't need me to help you anymore, do you? I'm going to set you a challenge and see if you can go off and find some objects in your house and use some plates or just put them together and count them and see if you can add some numbers together. Then, when you have had a little practice, see if you can keep the biggest number in your head and count on to find the answer. Mm. Then, if you like, you can write it down in a number sentence. That would be really good. I wonder which objects you're going to find. You might want to use some pencils or you might have some Lego blocks. That would be a good thing to count, wouldn't it? Or even some pasta. Well, thank you very much for joining me today. I've had lots of fun and I hope you have too. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Goodbye.